Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to upload your design on a Redbubble in 2023. Of course, Redbubble is a fantastic platform for sharing and selling your designs on various products. So if you're eager to showcase your artwork and potentially earn from it, stick around and let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of uploading your design to Redbubble. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and login or first of all, let's just open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with it. Here in my case is gonna be Brave Browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the CRL section. Here you'll have to type redbubble.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of Redbubble right away. And once you are here, make sure to go and sign up for new accounts if you don't have an account or simply just go and log in into your account if you have an account. And this is where you can start, of course, the process of adding your designs or where you can begin uploading your designs. So for me, as an example, I'll just go here at the top right corner, click on sign up instead of login because I don't have an account. Once I click on sign up, of course, as you can see, you'll be able to sign up as a customer or artist. Just choose whatever suits you. For us, we would like to upload our designs. So we would like to choose artists because we would like to set up a shop and start selling our, uh, selling our designs. We can even create a new account if you want to be a customer or something like that. So artists set up, sign up, of course, I'll just enter here my email as an example. So it should be gmail.com. The shop name, I'll just name uh, the shop name. Wait, do I have? Uh, let's see if I have an account or not. Seems like I have one. I'm not sure. I, I don't actually remember when did I create an account. So as you can see from here, it seems like I have an account. So basically I just logged in into my account. And I am right here, ready to use the red bubble. Now we'll have to go navigate, of course, into the Apple page. So, of course, you can go to your icon at the top right corner here, account. Just go and click on that, and then click on sell your art. Once you do so, of course, basically you will have to go through some simple steps, starting by creating products. So, upload your original art and choose products, add at least five designs to get your shop ready for customers. Then you'll have to check products for Martin. Quality is better than quantity. So make sure to add five designs. So you can, of course, then pass to the step of set up your shop. Of course, here you'll have to set up your shop. You can customize your shop to send out. Customers love supporting original as artists. Tell them your story and share social links. Add this uh, profile picture, add a cover image, and add social links, then add a bio. But then simply you'll have to get paid for your designs. Uh, verify your details so you can get a start selling. You'll have to add your name and address, confirm your email, confirm your mobile uh, phone number, and finally, finally add your payment details. And as you can see, once you finish all those steps, you are almost there. After you have completed the above items, we will do a couple more checks on our end to keep our community safe normal and your account will be categorized as either standard premium or pro you can read more about the account tiers in here and of course your shop will get live so if you need of course one of those tips right here just go and click on any of those and that will take you to help center or blog as you can see in here so if you want to know of course more about the account tier you'll find it's in here so we have the standard we have the premium and the pro you can post the video and check it all by your own if you want to and I guess like that. So, so how can, uh, can I get like my account reclassified? If you care about this, you can post the video and read it all. And I guess that's it. So you'll have to go first of all, add your design. So in this video, uh, as we said, we would like to upload your design to Redbubble. So I'm not going to set up my shop and set up my payments methods and etc. So I'll basically just show you how to upload a design on Redbubble. So once you go, of course, to your account at the top right corner and click on sell your art, you'll be taken here to the dashboard. Simply on create products, make sure to go and click on add design. Or you can go here, of course, at the top right corner and click on add new work. 
both will work. You can upload a new work or copy an existing work, whatever you want. So for us, we would like to upload. So click on upload in here. Here, basically you'll have to choose the upload or the work or the design that you want. So for me, I'll just choose here random logo that I have in here. I just choose this one. And as you can see, so what format is that file? We only accept JPG, PNG, and okay. So I guess this should be PNG, but I don't know why it didn't work. Let's see, what about this? Okay, it seems like this one worked. Anyway, so here you'll have to choose whatever like language you wanna like enter those stuff with. So for me, I'll go with English, of course. So we'll have to enter the title first for. So for the title, I'll just name it test and the tags. So as example, what is it? Uh, they show you here some examples like yellow, Q, tree, arrow, four, six, etc. So I'll just type here AI, brain. Of course, if there's a format on how to type it, so you have to type a word and do this comma, then space. Okay, so brain and here space, AI. Okay, I guess that's it. And of course, here the description. So share the story of meaning behind your work. Example, of course, you can do that. Of course, if you don't want to write a description, if you don't know how, you can simply just go and ask an AI tool like ChatGPT to write a description for you. For me, I'll just type like, I don't know, like AI taking over the word. Why not? And here, of course, you can choose the background color. You can change it however you want depend on whatever you want and of course the background color will be changed then you can see like products previews you can choose the product that you want to put your design on as example let's say this one of course you can disable some of them if you want to and i guess that's it so of course you can uh, like disable some of them you can enable some of them if you want and i guess yeah once you finish, of course, keep scrolling down and you will have to even uh, select the media. So it's photography, design and the illustration, painting and fixed media, drawing, digital art. So I'll just choose for me digital art and design and illustration. And the collection, of course, you can add it to a collection. If you don't have any collection, you'll not even find this. If you have it, just go and check the collection that you want to add it into. If this is major content, no. And default products on your shop. So you can choose whatever suits you in here and who can view this work, anybody or only you, if you want to. Then you'll have to check this option, which says, I agree to the Redbubble user agreement. And basically, so I confirm that I have the right to sell products containing the artwork, including any features, company name or logo and etc. And then click on save your work. And there you are. You basically uploaded your design on Redbubble. So that's going to be it's for us today and they found the glitch maybe it's just a problem in the website at the moment but for you you will be probably good to go of course if it didn't work you can always go and try again so that's gonna be it for me today thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one